This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by GoDaddy. What's going on guys? I'm Mark Lansanger from Techno Buffalo and one of the best new features of iOS 8 is the ability to add widgets to Notification Center. We're here to show you guys our top five Notification Center widgets in no particular order. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Now the first one on our list is Sports Center. I like to keep up with my favorite sports team, hashtag DC Rising, but sometimes I don't want notifications popping up on my iPhone every minute for score updates and or injury reports. I can turn off notifications for the app and just simply swipe down from my lock screen or home screen and check out the scores that way. If I ever need more of an in-depth look at scores or highlights, I can always launch a Sports Center app. The Sports Center widget only allows for two teams to be displayed at once, and if you happen to have more than two teams selected as your favorite team, then it'll constantly rotate every five seconds. It'll display your team score by the minute and your team's upcoming game schedule. If you're a sports fanatic, ESPN Sports Center is an awesome app. It's available via the App Store for free, so make sure to go check that out. The next one on my list is a pretty special one. It's like one of those retro gaming cartridges back in the day where you buy one game and there's like five games in a cartridge. That's basically what this next app is. Widgets is a free all-in-one widget for your notification center and it includes a bunch of handy widgets. You can add a calculator, a calendar, a currency converter, a photo frame, and the ability to check the time zones. Now for 99 cents, you can unlock three more widgets, a battery widget, memory and disk, network monitor, and more of the premium features for the standard widgets. Now whether you buy this premium version or not, widgets is a well worth a look. If you don't like the stock iOS weather app and want something new to look at, the community-powered weather app Weather Underground has a pretty cool notification center widget that provides a lot of helpful information. It'll show your current location, the date, the time, and current temperature, the highs and the lows for today, and a timeline that shows the temperature in three hour intervals. If, for example, there were weather warnings around the area, you'll see the hazard icon in your notification center as well and that'll direct you straight to the app and give you all the information you need. There aren't any settings to customize, unfortunately, but the app is free and it's probably one of the best weather apps and widgets for iOS as of now. Let's take a quick break from this video and thank our friends over at GoDaddy. It's go time and GoDaddy is here to help you kick butt online. Start your website today with just $1.99.com and visit GoDaddy.com and enter the promo code 199TECHNO to get your .com for just $1.99. Some limitations apply. See website for details. Now, if you've ever used Evernote, the productivity app now supports notification center widgets by letting you create new notes, reminders, and lists in a single tap through the notification center. Evernote can display five buttons in the today view, and it'll let you create a text note, a reminder, a checklist, or notes with photos from the camera or your library. It's very basic but handy, and I use it every now and then if I need to quickly jot down text notes or photo notes, and there's not a whole lot to this widget other than showing your recent notes and the five different buttons, but if you rely on using Evernote, using the widget could save you some time when writing notes on the go, and everything actually syncs automatically, so when you're using Evernote on another device or a computer, you'll see your notes automatically in your account. Now the last one is QuickTap. There was a pretty awesome widget app called Launcher, which was pulled by Apple recently, and I was looking for an alternative and found QuickTap. The widget essentially gives you one-tap access to your contacts, which means you'll be able to call a friend, email or FaceTime them, play tracks from your music library, get directions home using Apple Maps or Google Maps, and the best thing about it is it's free. You'll be able to add three contacts, three music tracks, three apps, and if you want to add more, you can pay $2 to get the premium edition. The ability to quickly call or email someone by just tapping a button in Notification Center is a pretty nifty idea, and I'm glad to see something like this make its way onto iOS. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you have any other app suggestions or want to see anything else in particular, just let us know in the comments down below. And as always, I'm Mark Sanger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys would like to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And we'd like to play video games every now and then in this office. So make sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo. And we hope to see you guys there.